Hello, everyone. This is Doug Davis with a, another session of Ask Doug. And I'm the uh, principal broker at Karambi Realty here in Honolulu. And the most common question um, I'm getting these days is what's going to be happening to the market? I just returned from a convention in California of luxury brokers that represent really most of the United States and even globally. And that was the topic of the day for sure. And everyone was comparing notes to see what was happening across the country. And the consensus seems to be that, well, everything is still going just like it always has been going, except that instead of getting handfuls or dozens of multiple offers, you might be down to two offers. So still going, still getting bidding, and um, but still moving forward. But you know there are a lot of concerns in the world, and, and people are taking pause. And you know certainly we have the unrest in the Ukraine and Russia, and what's going to be happening to that, and how do we change our fuel and uh, supply the Europeans uh, from their massive amount of fuel that they get from Russia and the interest rates rising and inflation taking off and just the concepts of uh, what goes up must come down and the concept of chicken little, if you remember that from preschool. <laughs> but I see chicken little every day with people running for cover and selling their stock portfolios and running for cover. And, you know, I've gone through now three or four real estate cycles and real estate is really slow. It's slow to react. So I, I don't expect it to turn on or off uh, anytime soon here. And inflation, by the way, has already peaked two months ago and it started its way down we think, it looks like it, that it peaked and now it's on its way down. So hopefully um, Ukraine will be over in a few more months. We'll see. But here, here's some interesting stats here. Um, April, the last reporting period for Honolulu Board of Realtors for stats, houses have been receiving at asking price or above for one and a half years straight, no in-between months, straight, getting 100% of the asking price for the average home. Uh, some, of course, get, get more, some get less, but on average, everyone is getting what they're asking for. And condos, also without a break for one year, at or more than 100% of the asking price. That, that's astounding. <laughs> that's just amazing. So that's a percentage of the original list price received. So they ask a million, they get a million, or they get a million plus. So, and then the median price April for Oahu is 1.105 million and that's for houses and condos 510. The average tells a different story. It's 1.4 million and condos 613,000. So, and, and that seems to be continuing, um, these continuing. I have an interesting graph I'd like to show you of how Oahu responds to the markets and the best way to describe it is a stair step. And it looks like this. Um, if I had more years, like back from King Kamehameha day, the stair step would be a long and, and big climb. But you can see um, it goes up and then it's flat. So you get the flat step and then it goes up and then you get the flat step. Uh, it goes like that. So, you know, some markets, they go all the way up and then go almost all the way back down. And then they go all the way. So a big sign curve uh, and um, it's not like that here. So it's a much safer market here. It's almost like you can't lose money if you don't 
have to sell when it's down. If you can time it right, you're always going to be making money in Honolulu. Uh, and this graph is from 1987 to 2019. So um, that's the most recent one that I could find. But it demonstrates the, uh, the, the nice uh, upswing and flat steps. So there you go. That's what Doug thinks, crystal balling where the market's going to go, just continuing. And uh, last time we had inflation, by the way, our market prices, our house and condo prices uh, went up, <laughs> just like all the commodities. Real estate went up, toothpaste went up, gas prices went up, food went up. Um, I don't see why this would be different this time around. So, but again, I, I, I think inflation's uh, gonna start its way down now. So there you go. Um, hope that's helpful for um, being calming and, and uh, having gone through uh, 41, 42 years of real estate um, after I got out of uh, college. And um, that's what's happened to me in Honolulu. So hope that helps. And until next week, uh, keep those questions coming.